Hi, in this video lecture, we are going to solve a hacker rank problem from the section data structures and linked list. And the title of the question is print in reverse. The task in this particular program is to print the elements of a linked list, a singly linked list in the reverse order. Example, if you have a list with the values 1, 2 and 3, you need to print them in the reverse order. Remember, that is a single linked list wherein every node has only one pointer which points to the next node. So 1 has a pointer which points to the second node which is 2. 2 has a pointer pointing to the third node which is 3. And 3's okay, pointer will be pointing nowhere which is null. But you need to print in the reverse order. Here your task is to fill the function of this reverse print function. This function has a parameter by name head which is a pointer of type singly linked list node, which refers to the head of the list. And your task is to print data values of each node in the reverse order. You don't need to bother too much with regards to the input format, the constraints and the data out here, because for all these things, there is already code written out here. Okay, so your job is only to write the code for print the elements of the linked list in the reverse order, reverse print. So everything else, there's already code written. You don't need to be bothered about it. Fine. Okay. Now, let us try to understand how do we do this. Okay. Like for example, if I have the 16, 12, 4, 2 and 5. For this, I have created a small program. And I'll be demonstrating this through visualization. Let me just go to this place where... I have this data, whatever data which is mentioned out here, like 16, 12, 4, 2, 5. You can just see we have 16, 12, 4, 2, 5, and I've created a linked list out here. You can just see the head is basically pointing to the first node, which has a data part as 16, and the next part points to the second node, which has data part as 12, and the next part of 12 points to the third node, which has data part as 4. Then the next part of 4 points to 2, and the next part of 2 points to 5, and the next part of 5 points nowhere. You need to print in the reverse order. That is first 5, then 2, then 4, then 12, and then 16. As I said, it's a single linked list. We do not have any pointer pointing back from this node 5 back to 2, or 2 back to 4, or 4 back to 12, or 12 back to 16. There are two ways of doing it. One, you can basically use your own stack and when you create a stack, what you do with it is first, you start with the first node, which is 16. You check out, is this my last node or not? If not, do not print that 16. Put this into a stack. Then come to the next node. Here, 12. Is this my last node? No. So try to place this 12 into the stack. Do not print that. Then again, come to the next node, 4 place it in the stack because that's not the last node and then same way 2 and then 5. Yeah, 5 is the last node. Yes, we do place 5 and then we go to the next part of 5 and then we realize, oh, there's nothing there. So we come back and then once you come back, you start popping out the element from the stack that is 5. You pop out and then print on the screen. 2, you pop out and print on the screen. 4 you pop out and print on the screen, 12 you pop out and print on the screen, and 16 you pop out and print on the screen. If I have to do this particular logic, then I need to create my own stack and I need to do the job of pushing these elements into a stack as I keep going to the next node. And once I'm reaching the end, I need to keep popping it out and then printing it. There is another way which also uses a stack but I don't need to explicitly specify the stack and I don't need to do the job of pushing and popping. And that is using recursion. In recursion, what happens out here is as you keep going to the next recursions, another stack frame gets created and the previous element will be retained. So I've already written the code out here called as reverse print. And I'm trying to check out, okay, have you reached the end of the list? No. So then here is the code to print the element, but I'm postponing this printing this element till I print all the other elements. 
okay i will call this same reverse print function by passing the next node so let me try to demonstrate by visualization so when i start this point here you have this l list and you are basically passing the head from the main with line number 41 so here head is basically pointing to this first node with a data value 16 yes so i'm going to check out have you reached the end of the list no so what i'll try to do it is I will again call reverse print by passing the next part of this, which is the address of the second node. So now, since it's a recursive call, it creates a new stack frame. And remember in the previous stack frame, there is a L list which continues to point to this. But in this particular new stack frame, this pointer points here. Remember the previous stack frame, there is an L list which points to the first node. And here a new stack frame was created. This is called a second node, right? Is this, have I reached the end of the list? No. So again, I'll recursively call. It creates a new stack frame and the new stack frame has its own copy of L list and that will point to the third node. So this way again, okay, I have one more stack frame pointing to the fourth node and then going further, one more stack frame for the fifth node and then after that, what happens is the next call, the L list will be null. In this case, L list is null. So when the L list is null, what we do it is we just say, okay, fine, do nothing, just come out. If L list is null, do nothing, just come out. We're not returning any value, but you're just using return statement to come out of this function, okay, and not to execute the other two statements. So when I come out, what happens is it just goes back to the previous stack frame. So this particular reverse print was called from this reverse print. It jumps back to that. And once it jumps back to this here, what we do out here is we try to print the data part of five here, the node of this one. Okay. So we'll just go back. Stack frame is deleted. Now we come to the print statement in this function. And here you can just observe the data part is five. I printed five onto the screen. So five is printed onto the screen. After printing five, I've reached the end of this function. Since I've reached the end of the function, I'll come out and I'll go to the previous frame. Okay, in the previous frame, this pointer was pointing to the second last node, which is two. Now that's going to print the value part two onto the screen. And after that, that frame gets deleted. We go backwards. Right. Again, we will be printing the data part of this here. The data part of this is four. Then completed, you go backward. Right. You can just observe. We keep printing this. Then we print this. And then at the end, we go back to the main. Okay. This way, we are able to print the elements of a linked list in the reverse order by using recursion which internally creates multiple stack frames and each stack frame has a pointer pointing to the nodes. Okay, the first time it will be pointing to the first head node. Second time when you call, we have, it's basically pointing to the second node that way, right? And we try, once we reach the bottom of it, right? Then we keep going backward and while going backward, we keep printing the data part. So I hope the concept is clear. So now we'll try to take this particular code snippet, the code inside this function, and I'll try to put it into the hacker rank platform here. Okay, let us also do the indentation here. Right, so let me just try to run this particular program and see if it is passing the sample test cases. Oh, it is saying that there is a problem here. Because we are supposed to print every element in a new line. So we just need to put a backslash n, not a space. So let me try to run this. Right, sample test case passed. And then I will be submitting this particular code. And you can just see all the test cases passed. So this is the only code what we need to write for reversing the, for printing the elements of a linked list in the reverse order. Thank you.